Welcome to the Rochester, New Hampshire History Podcast, a monthly show that will shine a light on a piece of history that has been all but forgotten. At the start of World War II, many of Rochester's young men and women joined the United States military. Houses across the city displayed service flags with blue and gold stars for each family member that was serving in the military. If a family had three members in the military, then their service flag would have three stars. A blue star showed the person was actively serving, and the gold star was when that person was killed while serving in the military. By 1942, it was clear there'd be a lot more people serving in World War II than in the First World War. Many cities across the country, including Rochester, wanted to do more than hang service flags to honor their soldiers. They wanted to list the actual names of everyone serving. These cities created honor rolls to list their soldiers and sailors. These were made mainly of wood and usually were not intended to be permanent. Just until the war was over, then the wooden honor rolls would come down. That is what makes Rochester's World War II honor roll so unique. It was not taken down at the end of the war. It still remains in its original condition and it looks like it did when it was built in 1943. The earliest reference of the Rochester Honor Roll is in June of 1943, when the City Council passed a resolution to erect one. The City Council set aside $1,000, and it was decided to place it in front of the City Hall, where it would be highly visible. The Rochester Courier reported that the dedication of the Honor Roll would be Sunday, October 24th. The Honor Roll would contain 1,037 names and Councilman Wesley Lyons would be in charge of the project. The city claimed that it would be the most beautiful honor roll yet erected by any New Hampshire city. The dedication would include a parade starting from the Commons and ending at City Hall. The American Legion and the Rochester VFW would be in charge of the unveiling. On October 24th, 1943, the dedication was a big success. It all started at two o'clock with a parade from the Commons to City Hall. Thousands watched and cheered for the soldiers, sailors, Boy Scouts, firemen, and other local groups marching through the flag-decorated streets of Rochester. At City Hall, a big crowd turned out to view the unveiling of the new honor roll. Patriotic songs were played by local bands Church leaders recited prayers, politicians gave speeches, and Lieutenant Robinson, a naval officer who took part in the Battle of Midway, also spoke to the crowd. In addition, a brand new flagpole located outside of City Hall was dedicated that day as well. Names would continue to be added to the list as more Rochester men and women joined the military until the war ended in 1945. A second, smaller honor roll was put up by the Holy Rosary Church in Rochester. This was a list of 300 soldiers and sailors that were members of the church. The inscription on their memorial read, All powerful God, protect your children who are fighting for church and country. This honor roll was taken down shortly after the war. As the decades passed after the end of the war, Rochester's wooden honor roll has endured stormy winters and hot summers, which has taken its toll on it. Fortunately, it has been repaired several times and still looks like it did when it was unveiled in 1943. This ends the podcast. If you have any questions or comments, please email bobgriffinpodcast at gmail.com and come back next month for another episode of Rochester, New Hampshire History.